Hey guys, welcome back to our video lessons. I hope you guys have been enjoying them as much as I have been. Um, so this week will be a little bit different, but I'll kind of explain it as we get closer to the end of our lesson. So I'm sure that all you guys know what Sunday is. It's Mother's Day. And what do you guys usually get for your mom for Mother's Day? A Mother's Day card. Now whether you make it or you buy it, what do they usually say on the inside? Mom, you're the best and I love you. Now, do you think your mom likes it when you tell her that you love her? Of course she does. But you know what she likes even more? Is when you show her that you love her. So you guys might be wondering, well, how do I show my mom that I love her? Well, there's a few things you could do. You could help her around the house, clean your room, take out the trash, obey her when she tells you to do something, and get along with your brother and sisters. Um, it's easy for us to tell our mom that we love her. But sometimes it's harder to show her that we love her. Do you think God likes it when we tell him that we love him? Of course he does. But you know what he likes even more? He likes it when we show him that we love him. Now how do we do that? The Bible tells us that God showed his love for us by sending his only son so that we may live through him. And it goes on to say that God loved us so much we ought to love one another. One of the best ways to show God that we love him is to love one another. Yes, God loves to hear us say, I love you, but he would rather see us say, I love you. As we get ready to celebrate Mother's Day this week, make sure we tell our mothers that we love them, but more importantly, let's make sure we show them that we love them. And in the same way as we live through our lives, let's make sure we, you know, not only do we tell God that we love him, that we show him our love for him by loving one another. Sometimes it's easy to say it, but it's a little bit harder to show it. So this week for our little activity packet, I got a coloring page. It's just a Happy Mother's Day coloring page. That would be something that you guys could color and then give it to your moms for Mother's Day. I also would encourage you guys to you know, do something nice for your mom. So this week instead of our like little questionnaire page, um, we're just going to challenge you kids to do something nice for your mom, whether it's help her out in the house, like make help her make dinner one night, maybe make dinner one night if your mom and dad allow it, or make breakfast for her. Um, just do something nice to show your mom that you love her. And if you can take a picture of you doing that or with you and your mom in the card, um, that will count towards your participation if you send that in through our Facebook page. Um, just have to be something different, a little bit fun, and kind of challenge you guys to spend a little bit more time with your mom as this week comes up for Mother's Day. So that's all I had for this week. I know it's a little bit shorter than the other lessons we had, but I guess that was a nice little thing to do for mom for Mother's Day. Um, so we're going to close in a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us all here, even though it is on Facebook and not in person. Um, I pray that all these kids, you know, take the time to show their mom that they love her this week. As well as, you know, work to show their love for God in everything they do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So that's all I had. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. And I hope we get to hear from some of you with some nice pictures with you and your mom.